What's going on guys? It's Corey with Tactically Average. Today we're going to be going over our new EDC uh, layout um, for our holster. So I carry currently um, the SIG uh, P365 um, and I have a holster. I forget the company that makes it, um, but it fits pretty well. But it's just your average plain Jane um, holster, but it is made for um, three to four o'clock. Um, so we're going to be upgrading to this tier one concealment. Um, and uh, going appendix um, with my new rig. So let's get into the video and the unboxing of this holster. All right, guys, so we're just gonna get into the unboxing of this tier one concealment holster. Um, so I actually did open it a little bit before uh, just because uh, the lead time on this is about 30 days, uh, 30 to 35 days. And I ordered this on March 11th and it's now April 16th. So. I actually didn't remember what I ordered, um, so I wanted to open it to make sure I uh, remembered what was in there. I did not open the holster, just kind of looked through the box, so we're going to go through this together. Um, but before we get into this, if you guys have not yet subscribed to the channel, please make sure you drop a like on the video and you sub if you are new. Um, we're going to be doing uh, gun reviews, holster reviews, gear review, um, so you guys don't want to miss any of this content. Um, that would be greatly appreciated if you can drop a sub. All right, so let's get into this unboxing. So, all right, so first thing is going to be, I actually got their wedges. Um, so um, these actually allow you, and I got two sizes. I thought I got three. Oh yeah, I did. So I got an extra large, um, a large, medium and a small um, just because I wasn't sure what size um, I wanted to uh, to get with these and what this is actually going to do is go on the inside of the holster right here and it actually makes the uh, holster a little bit more comfortable but it also pushes the gun against your body to actually help conceal it a little bit better so those are those wedges um, I may or may not show you guys in this video I'm not sure if I want to open these quite yet um, but do want to get into uh, the holster so let's get to that all right so the rest of the stuff is just some paperwork here um yeah I, i'm not going to read that you guys can read that if you would like all right and one of the biggest reasons why i wanted to switch from this holster um this holster is perfectly fine there's nothing wrong with it um but the issue is i wear sweatpants a lot especially during the summertime or sorry the, during the winter time um and in the summertime i wear a lot of basketball shorts so i wanted to make sure um that i had i was still able to carry a gun even when i was doing sweatpants or basketball shorts so that was really the only issue with this um, holster right here and the fact that it was an appendix and like I said I would be switching to appendix so um, the reason I switched to this holster is these things right here um, these are called uh, alti clips and um, these actually attach right onto the holster and this allows you to not have to wear a belt and still have your holster and your gun secured uh, to your pants. So I am going to show you guys that because I'm super excited about these clips. Um, like I said, one of the biggest reasons why I actually switched. All right. And we have some stickers that will be going on my safe here. Pretty cool stickers. Um, and I think that is it. Some tissue paper there, my order there. And I guess I give it to you in a bag. So we're gonna be seeing this together for the first time. Oh, that's sick, okay. All right, so it's actually, what's, what's really nice is it's actually a little bit smaller than I thought it was gonna be, which I'm actually not, upset about at all um, but this is the um, uh, Axis Elite and I got it in I'm gonna put the color right here because I cannot remember the color that I got um, the name of it um, but um, one of the biggest reasons why I went with uh, tier one over um, a company like uh, T-Rex Arms is this right here this flexibility um, with uh, T or with T-Rex arms, they're all one piece and it's kind of just bent a little bit like this. So it doesn't allow that flexibility for the mag um, and the gun to kind of move around. Um, I also bought this because this little, um, I 
forget what these are called, um, wing tips, um, actually will again push against your belt and I'll kind of demonstrate that for you guys. Um, and it'll push against your belt and again, and make this a little bit more concealable. Um, and the last thing I wanna go over here before I stick the gun in is, I actually went with the high uh, sweat guard. Um, so I know you guys are probably gonna ask in the comments why I went with the high sweat guard. My reasoning is, when I have the gun in there, I'm gonna be feeling metal. I'd rather feel the plastic than the metal. So that's one of the reasons why I went with the sweat guard. Now it will be a little bit more uncomfortable when I have the gun unholstered and I'm shooting. But again, I'm gonna be hopefully having my gun holstered more than I'm gonna be um, having my gun unholstered. So that's why I went with that right there. Um, but I'm gonna grab a mag and show you what it looks like when it's all rigged up. All right, so here is what the whole holster looks like when it's all rigged up and uh, it's got the mag in here. So I actually went with the even more extended. So this is an extended um, 13 round mag. I actually went with um, the mag well to be extended even more. So this actually helps conceal a little bit better. Um, all my reviews said this is actually the hardest part to conceal more than the gun itself. So I wanted to make sure I had um, as little bit of the mag showing as possible. It'll still allow me to get a good purchase on that mag and pull it out, but we'll demonstrate that a little bit later. Um, but here is what the holster looks like. I'm very impressed and very excited. I actually just realized too, here's a T and a one. So that's actually awesome manufacturing. Um, and uh, with the Axis Elite, one of the reasons why I went with this, I wanted to say this is their newest holster. Um, a couple things, like I said, it comes with this right here. I'm gonna throw the name up because I know I forgot the name once again. Um, but it also comes with these rib, uh, ribs right here, which actually, again, help push this magazine against you. So it actually makes it a little bit more uh, concealable. So this was all about concealment, especially with it coming into the summertime. Um, I wanted to make sure that I can, can still carry a, uh, not a full size gun, but a full mag um, and uh, a spare mag and still be as concealable as possible. Um, so that's the rig I went with for that. And that's the reasoning why I went with that. Now, what I carry in the winter time, because um, I obviously have a lot more layers on, is I carry my Glock 19. Um, this is a Gen 3, I want to say. Um, it's got night sights on it, um, but I carry it in a uh, we the people's magazine um, I will or magazine um, holster um, so I carry this obviously this is a lot less concealable than this when it comes to uh, grip length and also just kind of overall size so i um, gonna go and uh, pop this on not this pop this on and show you guys what that looks like all right guys so I have the holster on um, and I am very happy with it. Um, I promise I don't actually look this chubby in real life. It definitely adds a little bit of bulk here. Um, I probably look this chubby in real life. Let's call it a spade a spade. Um, but it, uh, it definitely conceals very well when I look down. I can't really see any bulk. And the nice thing is too, if you guys are worried about printing, just wear a plaid shirt, something along these lines where, um, you know, the person's not gonna be able to tell if that is a gun. So like right here, you guys can see when I push it out and I'm showing, you can't actually tell that that's a gun. So um, this is how I have it set up right now. I am wearing uh, a Core Essentials belt. I would recommend if you guys do not have a gun belt, you go and invest in a good uh, gun belt. I have the Core Essentials one. Um, there are tons out there. You can do your own research, but I went with Core Essentials. Um, it's going to be a lot sturdier for you and allow you to hold your gun up and uh, you're not going to have that sag like, like this belt. So this belt right here is a belt I just got from uh, Kohl's a couple of years ago, or maybe not even a couple years ago, last year, um, and I started carrying a gun with it. And as you can see, it, uh, it started to loop here. So here is what it looks like. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how you set it up. Pretty simple. So from here, you just take the holster. And like I said, I put my belt buckle over here because I quickly found out that if you have your belt buckle in the front, it is not gonna work. So holster, I just kind of loosen up the belt a little bit, drop this down in my pants, just like this. And here is what I was talking about before. 
with these wings here, what this is doing here is this is pushing against my belt to push the gun into me. So when you have it here and you have it all set up, the, um, the magazine, like I said, has those ribs there that's going to push up against you on. And then this here, the wing is going to push out, um, push the belt out and the gun in. So you can see how close to my body this gun is. And same thing with the magazine. And like I said, I have a little bit of a gut going to the gym though. So don't worry about it. Come summertime, this will be gone. Um, but that is what the holster is designed to do is to make sure it is up close and personal to the body. And then once you have it in there, you just come over here and you tighten your belt. And before you know it, you got yourself a situation. So you're all good there. It's a nice purchase on the gun. Bring it out here. So yeah. Yes, this gun is 100% clear. Don't want any comments below, but um, so yeah. So this is actually better than what I expected initially. Um, so when you're here, like I said, normal, nothing looks awry. And then where you know it, you're on target. So, and then the nice thing about it is you have your mag right next to it. So God forbid you have an issue, drop the mag back in, and then you have another, another mag right there. Um, let's get on to the Alti clips. All right, so I got the Alti clips installed. Um, fairly simple process once you figure out how to do it. Um, so here is what makes these things so special. So instead of having normal clips, what these have are really tight retainer, um, retaining clips, I would almost say, um, which allow you to, like I said, wear sweatpants like I have on here um, and still hold your, and still have yourself a gun. So let's go ahead and pop this on and show you how it works. So you go just like normal. You can kind of put this off to the side, however, wherever you want it. Um, but then, Let's tie these sweatpants actually first. All right. So, uh, but then what you do is you take your sweatpants and you just have these clips right here, right over the band, right over your sweat or right over your sweatpants band, and then you just pop down, pop down. There you go. And you can see that's secure. That's really secure actually. So same level of concealment. Um, and then if you even use your drawstring and tighten it down a little bit more, you can see same level of concealment that you have here. Um, probably move that over a little bit. Uh, but here's the nice thing. You can conceal normally in sweatpants, but the issue you have when you conceal is when you go to take that gun out, your holster comes out a lot as well. So I'll show you. Gun stays safe. Mag stays safe, good to go. So that is the benefit of having the Alti clips for your um, sweatpants, basketball shorts, um, but you can also wear this with your jeans if you don't want to put a belt on as well, which is really nice. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed my um, unboxing and first impressions of the Tier 1 Concealment Axis Elite. Um, like I said, I think this is their newest model. Um, I'm super excited now for summer um, being able to carry my SIG P365. Even though it's a super concealable um, weapon, conceal it even better um, with uh, an extra mag because what I've been doing with this holster right here is just throwing a mag in my pocket. Um, so realistically, um, that's not gonna work. Um, but again, I just wanna say thank you guys. If you have watched to the end, you guys are the real ones. I would appreciate it again if you smash the like button. Um, and actually, no, don't smash it. Just gently tap it. Just 
little click just like that um, and then also if you guys could please sub if you're new um, like I said we'll be doing gear review holster reviews um, all that stuff I am gonna do a review on this one here but I don't feel right giving you guys a review if I haven't actually worn it out so um, probably in the next three months or so I'm gonna give you guys a review of how I feel about this uh, but like I said gonna continue to do reviews um, first impressions things along those lines if you guys could please uh, smash that subscribe button that would be great once again guys I'm Corey with tactically average make sure you guys drop a sub that'd be great catch you guys in the next video